The patient is positioned supine on the operating room table. A well-padded tourniquet is placed as high as possible above the thigh. A foot roll is placed in position to keep the knee at approximately 90 degrees of knee flexion. A lateral post is then positioned at the level of the tourniquet with the knee flexed. This is slightly higher than the bed. The post is positioned to allow for a valgus stress to be applied when working in the medial compartment. I purposefully place the post higher than the level of the bed as it allows for an additional working area since the thigh cannot escape under the post. Two alternative positioning techniques are commonly used. In the first technique, the lateral post is placed at the mid-thigh with the leg in extension. The leg is then dropped over the edge of the bed. I do not employ this as I believe it places the foot at risk for contamination. Alternatively, the leg may be placed into an arthroscopic leg holder and the non-operative leg placed into a well leg holder. Advantages of this technique include easier access for accessory portals when performing meniscal repair. Following initial positioning, an examination under anesthesia is performed. The leg is then prepared with chlorhexidine and draped with impervious drapes, followed by an extremity drape. The leg is placed into an impervious stockinette and wrapped in coban. The back table and mayo stand are brought into place. The arthroscopic tower, pump equipment, and suction canister are placed on the contralateral side. The arthroscopic monitor is also on the contralateral side and positioned at a comfortable height for the surgeon. A mayo stand is brought in from the contralateral side and is used to secure tubing and as a workbench, it is placed proximal to the knee. The scrub table is positioned at the foot of the bed. This is an overhead view of a right knee. Medial is to the right of the screen and the patient's head is at the top of the screen. Bony and soft tissue landmarks are marked on the skin. The inferior half of the patella and the tibial tubercle are first identified and outlined. Next, the edges of the patellar tendon are carefully palpated and marked. The soft spot immediately lateral to the patellar tendon at the inferior aspect of the patella is palpated. The position can be confirmed with the handle of the knife. This is the site of the anterolateral portal. An 11 blade is used to make the anterolateral portal and the arthroscopic trocar is introduced into the knee with the knee inflection. It is inserted, aiming the trocar for the intercondylar notch. The knee is then brought into full extension and the trocar advanced into the suprapatellar pouch. The obturator is then exchanged for the arthroscope.